How do we transition from crib to big boy bed? Let's find out. It's Neela Fire Gibson with Honest Mom, and today I'm going to tell you guys how we did a smooth transition from crib to big boy bed for our son Riker. Um, first of all, I want to say that sorry that I have not made a video in a couple weeks, but it's been kind of crazy busy over here with summer coming up and a lot of planning and things going on, and we had visitors and all kinds of things. But I'm so excited to be back here. I miss you guys, and I'm really excited to share with you guys a huge milestone that we just had in my son's life. So my son is three and a half, almost four years old, and um, probably like a month or two months ago, he try to jump out of the bed to crib, you know crawl out of the bed out of his crib um, he's been in his crib since he's been four and a half months old when he started sleep training and he's always been in there we just kept him in there because he still fits and it's never been like a safety issue he's never tried to climb out but because he is really trying to learn that skill of climbing recently he decided to climb out of his crib and we're like eh, we're not gonna take a risk so we're like okay I think it's time to transition him into a big boy bed now every kid is different some kids do it as early as 15 months old some kids as old as four or five years old it just depends everyone's different but wherever you are in this transition I think these help these tips are gonna help you so the first thing that we did was we wanted to make sure that Riker was part of the whole process you know part of the process of you know putting the crib away um, part of the part of the process of you know go shopping for a new bed for him uh, picking out the sheets the comforter things like that I think it was really important especially since my son is a little older to understand these kind of concepts he was really 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 excited when he was um, part of the process so for example we said we're gonna go tomorrow to Ikea to pick out your new big boy bed and he just got so excited so excited and ex um, just wanted to be part of it you can just tell so when we got to Ikea he was looking at all the beds and I'm I swear I swear 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 he picked out his own bed all on his own I did not influence him my husband did not influence him he literally like saw this bed jumped into it and was smiling so big so happy and um, it was so wonderful to see I literally wanted to cry I know it's like so silly but he was just so excited so that's the bed we chose and we got this bed from Ikea and um, um, I will link it below so you guys can check it out um, it's really important to like go and like see it not just like online I felt like it was just better for him to be part of the process like like physically see it be able to like lay down in it and see how he feels and it was the bed that we actually liked a lot too and it just we were all on the same page it was great um, and then I kind of chose some sheets and comforters to, for him to choose from and then he liked the ones that we that we got and so that was awesome and so that whole process was very positive for Riker and then every night because we had to order the bed every night he's like big boy bed big boy bed so he just could not wait for his big boy bed so that was really really awesome and so um, of course like once the bed got here we also had him be part of the process of when my husband was putting it together he was able to see him put it together and then was whole, part of that whole process again for the bed delivery like he just got excited for every step so I think that's really really important because they feel like oh wow like this is gonna be for me like I'm growing up and I don't know like all the feelings that they're feeling and we want to support that so so that was really, really awesome. Now, some practical things that you can do to help with that transition, um, because now they're not contained, right? Because that was my thing. It's like, wait, in the crib, like, he was fine in there. This is before he can climb out. He can't get up in the middle of the night or fall out the bed or, like, there's all these concerns, right? So I was like, hmm. So actually, one of my friends, um, Jamie, um, you know, she has kids a little older than Riker, and so she told me about this bumper and I will link it below and here is the picture of it right here because it's on Riker's bed right now but here's the bumper and it's really really cool because I didn't even know about this I always thought oh we're just gonna get like a little guard on his bed so that way he can't roll off the bed because one side of the bed is against the wall so that we just have to worry about the other side and my friends showed me this bumper and it's really cool because it literally goes like Kind of under the covers and it's just like this big like bumper and it's really awesome because you can't really tell from the outside and 
it, it keeps him in there like he he doesn't roll off the bed he doesn't fall off the bed it's easy to get in and out of bed like it's awesome it's super soft and you can buy it off Amazon and it wasn't that expensive I don't think but I'll link it below but that thing was really really great now of course the first night I was like terrified like oh my gosh is he falling did he fall out of bed is he okay no nope. and he hasn't and it's been I don't know probably like three or four weeks now and it's been great you guys and it's super easy to put on the bed you just put the sheets over it it's great so that is a must especially if your child is a little older like mine um but i even think if you have like a younger child like you don't really need the guards because those guards eventually they're gonna figure that out too and they can just climb over it or i don't know i just don't like the look of it either this is super cool and just makes the whole bed just like one instead of like having this like little guard up um and by the way, we didn't transition, so, because there might be some questions like, why didn't you just like keep him in the bed, but just put a railing and like do the convertible? Because we do have a convertible crib, um, which you can get like the railing, but we thought, well, if I'm gonna have to change this in like six months into a twin bed, we decided with the twin versus a full size, um, just because of the size of his room. But I was like, well, I don't wanna have to go like, and by the way, this railing, for his crib at least was like $300 for a piece of wood. And I'm like, I'm not gonna spend 300 bucks for a piece of wood that's gonna be a railing where I have to change it in like six months because he's gonna outgrow this crib or like he's gonna figure out, I don't know. I just was like, no, it doesn't make sense to spend that much. So, so yeah, so we didn't get that and we're like, let's just go jump right into a twin size bed or a full size depending on the size of your bedroom um, for your child. Some of my pa my parent friends were saying, get a full size so you can like snuggle with him and like there's more room. And I'm like, well, we just don't have the space. And plus I can snuggle in a twin, like it's fine. So anyways, so that's why we, did we didn't go over like from the crib to like the in between like toddler bed or like the gate for the convertible crib. We just went straight to a twin and it was great and he was fine. So anyway, so so the bumper is huge. I would de definitely recommend getting that. And then um, the other thing that's really a good idea to buy, if you don't have it already, is the hatch. So this is the hatch right here. This thing we bought um, on our baby registry, and I think it's the best thing because it's a nightlight slash noise machine, but it has so many different kinds of sounds, so many different colors. You can actually customize the colors. It works off the app right here, so you'll see there's an app. Um, so it's just an easy app, and you can customize. There's like program, color, sound, favorites, timer. There's all kinds of things you can do with this, and it's wonderful. So we used this when Riker was like a newborn because it kind of helped um, with as a noise machine and nightlight for when he was like sleeping next to us and I had to get up a lot. And so it, this was wonderful. Um, and then we use it as a noise machine, um, you know, as he transitioned into his room. But now we're going to use the color feature and I'm going to show you guys how cool this is. So uh, my whole thing was like, okay, he's going to get up from his bed. like. How can I keep him in his bed? He's gonna walk around his bed, walk around his room. Um, he's gonna open the door and, and get out, right? Because he's like, oh, I have this freedom. So what we decided to do is assign a color for when you're in bed and assign a color for when you can come out of bed. So what we did is we created a program on here. And so basically, um, so I'm gonna change the color on this now. And just we'll just say this is red. Uh, and then we'll do the sound of noise machine which I will do here all right so red means bed all right so red means bed so when the red light comes on it's bedtime and when it's green so then you can again you can program all this um, onto the through the app um, and then so then when it's green this is not really green but it doesn't really look green but anyway so when it's green green means go get out of bed and it also has um, it also has a different um, like noise that comes with it. So I put bird sounds. Um, I'll kind of show you the bird sound here, so you can see. So it's kind of like very calming, you know, way to wake up in the morning. Um, so that way, it's also like a distinct, distinctive like sound from when he's sleeping. So. 
we have this all in a program so depending on when your child goes to bed um, we kind of program it into the app they know from like at 6 50 I think p.m. the red light goes on and then I think at like at 6 30 in the morning the green light goes on and you know what let me tell you he respects this thing because he follows it literally like we'll be in the middle of a bedtime routine because we're running late this will come on at red and he literally will drop everything he's doing and jump into bed uh, and he'll lay there and um, it's great and he knows red means bed and then um, and then in the morning even if he gets up before the light turns green say he gets up at 6 a.m. he'll just lay there because he keeps looking like oh well it's it's red so that means I stay in here and then I like literally the second it turns green and he hears the bird singing he jumps out of bed opens the door and goes hello good morning it's really funny <laughs> so the hatch I highly highly recommend just because it's a um, visual for them to understand and you don't have to keep going into the room like every second to be like oh my gosh please get back into bed oh my gosh because that's like really exhausting but again it depends on the age of your child I mean I know that if they're younger they may not get this maybe they will I don't know but you can try and I think um, I think it is a little probably a little more challenging when they're younger but I don't think it's impossible but again I don't have experience but I know that I have friends that have um, that this happened when they were younger and they kind of did the same thing and it worked um, so what if you have a two-way system with like your camera and that watches your child you can talk through there and say hey let's get back into bed you know if you don't have the hatch or the light or anything or they don't get this yet because they're too young then you can kind of like talk to them using verbal cues so whatever kind of works but I think this hatch is awesome I will link that below as well you can buy it off Amazon it is a must to have so this is like one of my favorite things so so we talked about the bumper we talked about the hatch now the other item that I think is really key is to have a gate at their door so um, we have a gate that we've always put in there since he's been a baby just because we used to have a dog and so we didn't want the dog coming in out of his room when he was young and so but we wanted to keep the door open because I was playing with my son in the room and anyway so we always had a gate and I can link that below to the regalo gate I think is the one we have because he hasn't really figured out how to open this gate yet actually adults have a hard time opening it so it's been great so I always make sure I lock that gate and then close his door because he knows how to open doors so he'll open the door but he can't open the gate so then at night time I'm not really worried about him you know strolling around the house or um, anything like that so that is the other thing that you want to buy if you don't already have one and the other the last tip that I want to share with you is um, make sure you remove anything that could distract him so I removed all toys from my son's room and put it and just kept everything in the playroom now now if you don't have a playroom wherever you have if you have toys anywhere else that's not in the bedroom I would suggest moving all those toys out of his room um, and I just basically just keep books in there and his stuffed animals but nothing like a he used to have like a Thomas the train track and like he like a racetrack in there but that's just too distracting and so um, I just wanted everything cleared out and that way his room is just his room where he sleeps read books and then the playroom is where he'll play um, and not to say that we don't play in his room like sometimes we'll bring toys in there but really all his playing is done in the playroom um, so that's kind of what I would suggest because you just want least um, distractions um, so that's basically it um, like I said every child is different every um, environment is different but this is just from crib to t um, twin bed or you know full-size bed or queen bed whatever something that's not a crib basically this is kind of what we did I will link everything below um, if you have any questions or if you have gone through this and you want to comment of other items that maybe like worked for you please let me know I love to read about other people's stories when they transition from crib to uh, big boy bed but I have to tell you that we have been so proud of Riker we are so proud of ourselves that he, this transition went so well we were like oh my gosh is he gonna wake up like a billion times and 
it's been like the same thing like and he gets so excited every night for his big boy bed and it's so exciting it's like also like oh my god i was really i have to be honest i was really sad when the crib was dismantled i was like because I remember the day my husband and my dad put that crib together and then you know he slept in there um, um, for the first time by himself without being next to us in that crib since he was four and a half months old so a lot of memories and things so anyways it's just it's very emotional but I'm so proud of him and I'm so proud of us as I was saying and I I'm just excited for this milestone that it's like oh my gosh we did it so I hope you guys have a magical day and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.